Oh. Oh. Sheen, Sheen, Sheen. Am I being petty here? Like, am I actually... Don't understand. I don't understand. I d hey guys, it's Anushka here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be trying some Shein makeup. And this was highly requested by you guys. For today's post notification shout out, it's going to go to that cool turtle thank you so much for hitting the bell notification button i really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and let me know in the comments below when you've done so and also guys if you haven't checked out my merch yet this is like one of the designs i've literally been living in the t-shirts they're such nice quality they're really affordable they're 100 percent organic cotton and i've only gotten such good feedback so far so if you guys want to grab one make sure to check the link in the info box so i've been a bit a little bit iffy with Shein. But basically, this is a whole long story, right? But I'm gonna make it a long story short. I bought so many clothes from them around two months ago, I would say. And I bought a huge haul to film this try on video. And then I also bought a bunch of makeup, which I'm gonna be trying out today. I watched a video by the Patriot Act on YouTube where it talks about fast fashion. And honestly, there's a lot of issues with the industry. The, the effect on the environment, the exploitation of labour workers. And it has been arising much more recently because since the pandemic started and lockdown started, big brands were not paying their workers. This, and more specifically in Bangladesh where a lot of the brands get their clothes made. Now that's where the hashtag pay up movement started. And I can see like Zara, Nasos, Tesco have paid up but there are many other brands that have not another one that I really love is Primark they haven't been paying their workers that what does that say about the brand like anyways it really got me thinking and I haven't been wanting to purchase much lately because is the cute cheap outfit really worth people starving in these countries for me no i don't know how much of a change one individual can make but i've purchased i purchased way less i haven't even purchased at all like clothing wise because i want to make sure i use my clothes longer now so that i'm buying less and honestly you have to think about it these fast fashion brands actually produce clothes that don't really last in the long run and then you find yourself always having to buy and buy and buy and buy and it doesn't really help that me with this channel and this platform like showing you guys what to buy like and telling you guys to buy more clothes and it's not really helping the issue is it so it just really got me thinking and I'll do some hauls every now and then because I know you guys really enjoy it but I just don't feel comfortable. I don't, I don't feel right doing it all the time anymore and I just want to look at more sustainable clothing brands. Purchase way less from brands that I like. I love like Zara. I've been obsessed with Zara but I will be purchasing way less. I can't lie, I love a good shop. I, good, I love a good online shop. Some of these brands are being sketchy and now with Shein... There is no information at all on their supply chain, at all. Like, I tried looking, it's zero information, and I find that quite worrying, because you just ask yourself, like, why? My friend Mia shared on her story this um, app that's called Good On You, and you can search brands. So I'm gonna search Shein. And the, the, the <laughs> so basically this app just shows how um, ethical, I would say, a brand is. Um, so Shein comes as we avoid. That just tells everything. We don't display retailers for brands rated we avoid. Shein does not communicate sufficient information about its environmental and labour policies. Insufficient relevant information about how it reduces its impact on people, the planet and, and or animals. You have the right to know how the products you buy affect the issues you care about. And that's what's really hit me, you know. Look into what your clothes are made of. A lot of the time the clothes are made out of plastic. I don't want to ramble too much, but most of it's made out of plastic. And then what happens is that when you're done with it and you don't want it anymore and it goes to charity shops, and when they can't sell it, it ends up getting shipped in bulk to Africa, then gets dumped into their soil. And it's just, it's not okay, guys. Like, I don't even know. We are literally destroying our planet. Like, and just buying all this clothes, it's not really helping. It's really not. And... I don't want to be an activist. I don't think I'm I'm made for that. Like an active activist speaker. I don't know how you call it. But 
I do have this platform and I just want to share what I've been thinking about lately. I mean, as I go through the video, throughout the video, I will talk more about it. I do have all the makeup products here and I might as well try it because I couldn't refund. They have no re return policy on their makeup products. And you guys wanted to see it, so I might as well um, try it on for you guys. I have this uh, waterproof eyebrow pencil. I might as well do my eyebrows whilst I'm talking. This is dark brown. One thing that was stopping me from doing a Shein, a Shein haul was... <clears throat> I didn't really feel comfortable doing clothing hauls on my channel anymore and telling you guys to buy even more clothes when really fast fashion is has become a real big issue environmentally and when it comes to the treatment of workers in India or Bangladesh and other countries so like people are literally starving they are not paying their workers honestly your your wallet your money has so much power and by buying less from these brands will really help now the whole thing with boohoo like three pound fifty an hour for their workers now i know it's not boohoo like directly but it's and it's more their suppliers but it's boohoo it's boohoo's responsibility to look into their suppliers that like, don't tell me that oh we didn't know what, what are suppliers? They're your suppliers. That's where your, your clothes come from. At the moment, by you buying more and more clothes, giving more to charity shops, and the more they can't sell, the more it gets dumped into, in, into the earth, basically. So yeah, my goal is definitely looking into more indie brands, more environmentally friendly brands, sustainable clothing. And I actually might do some like charity shop, like, what's it called? Thrift shop shopping? Try and keep your clothes as long as possible. Wash them less. If you wear it, ask yourself, do you really need to wash it? Can you wear it again? Definitely properly colour coordinate your washing. Don't mix the whites with the blacks and the greys with the blacks and the beiges with the blacks. Like, make sure you're washing your clothes properly. Follow the, the instructions on the labels. Anyways, those are just steps that I've been taking myself and I really, really do like this app that my friend Mia shared. Honestly, Azara's been like one of my favorite brands I've been obsessed with. I haven't shopped since my last haul and they have three dots out of five, which I guess is okay. And it says, it's a start. Zara has good policies to eliminate hazardous chemicals, but it creates short lived fast fashion products. And that's the problem. Short lived fast fashion products means that you buy it, it doesn't last long and you just want to buy more. Whilst you can just like invest in actual clothing that will last you years, you know? This eyebrow pencil has a bit of red. So Zara apparently traces most of its final second stages of production. It has made little to no progress towards ensuring payment of a living wage in its supply chain. It audits most of its trace facilities. It implements some work empowerment. It states that they use wool from non mul said sheep. I don't know what that means. Again, that's where your research has to come in play. And, and what's really great is that this app will show you brands that are really good. So Bleed is a ch German brand driven by a sustainable lifestyle and a shared love of sport. There's another one called We Dash Love, women's eco fashion with a minimal footprint. Um, it used packaging made from recycled materials. It ensures payment of a living wage across its supply chain. It traces all of its supply chain. All of its supply chain is independently audited or visited by the brand. Its animal rating is good. It does not use any animal products, but it does not state that it's vegan. Guys, I definitely recommend the app. I'll link it in the info box. Let's just be more conscious about where we're buying from and what we're buying from, what our clothes are made out of. Will they last long? I'm gonna take some of the concealer here. This is the Longwear Eye Candy Concealer. I don't know, I have, there's literally no shade on us. And also, guys, when I tell you, when I opened my package from Shein to see like, you know, I, I ordered it. Let me just see if there's any stuff I wanna keep for my order. When I tell you like all the stuff was so ugly such such bad quality and it stunk it had like a really bad chemical weird scent on the on the clothing it reminded me of a time when i bought like a um a jacket from ebay and it stunk so bad like it was bad i was just sat there going through each clothing item and number one the sizing was off the material was awful the smell was just so off-putting and 
some of the items don't look exactly as they do on the website that's the second thing that bugged me so i returned everything all the clothing i returned i kept one pair of shorts because i was like okay you know i can wear this at home one thing to remember is when the price seems too good to be true something dodgy is going on and i know we all love a bargain but you really need to ask yourself why is this so cheap recently nabella did a video on shein and shared a post on them and she's actually been very vocal on you know the effects of fast fashion the hashtag pay up movement i actually love nabella's energy and i've have done i have been following her for years i love her videos it's just such good quality as well like her lighting and everything's so perfect but yeah I ju i'm just so happy that someone with such a large platform is speaking up about this and they were using a prayer mat <laughs> They were actually using a prayer mat on their website to profit from and called it a tassel carpet. And after she contacted the brand about this issue, they then had a swastika necklace on their, on their, on their website as well. And they also did have white women posing in our traditional Indian wear clothes. Didn't properly specify what it's, what it is and the meaning behind our clothing, like the appropriation most of the makeup was under five pounds it's so affordable okay i'm just gonna put some of the concealer on my lids so like the concealer is quite like a medium coverage i would say honestly i don't even want you guys to buy from them like i'm showing you these products but why don't you just go to nyx or or makeup revolution why this I also got the She Glam Blossom Palette. It looks like this. I think I'm gonna use this shade. But yeah, I just wanted to like do this video to kind of get the conversation going in the comments below. Ask yourself like, is it really worth it? Is it really worth the outfit? So I've been going through my, my closet, looking at what stuff I can, you know, give to my cousin's daughter that's coming this summer um what, what what stuff i can pass down and not just throw away and with lockdown and, and everything i don't feel like i need more clothes i love fashion but there's ways around there's ways to produce good quality environmentally friendly sustainable clothing so maybe i might do that in the future and look more into brands that are like that i mean there's definitely pigment there in the shadow i'm gonna grab this shade i don't know if it's gonna be dark or not I don't know the trust is not there with the brand i don't know i don't like how they've handled things i don't like how they're culturally and religiously appropriating with by selling you know our, tra our, our traditional wear on their website without really specifying what it is and plus on a white woman it just it just don't seem right i'm just using the gold you can't say that the eyeshadow palette is bad but i'm gonna say well, this video don't buy from Shein I just don't feel like they deserve our coin okay and this is not to bash the brand like this is just how I personally feel I don't like how they've handled things I'm just gonna apply some mascara because I haven't been wearing like makeup for weeks now like I rarely wear makeup at the moment my lashes have been growing at full force because obviously I'm tugging less at them by the way my most favorite mascara at the moment is the Huda Beauty one it's so good okay let's go on to the face the next thing that really kind of let me down was the shade range what is this beige and um pink this is warm beige light beige but they have a very 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 poor shade range like five shades or something and why would you want to buy from a brand that does not cater to your skin tone please tell me they don't see my skin colour, clearly. They see these as more important, I guess. You know, just for the fun of it, let's just, let's just, let's just, oh, oh. Shein, Shein, Shein. Disappointed, that's all I have to say. Oh, get that stuff off my face. And you know what? I smelled some of the other products and they have a weird smell. <gasps> this is just... I'm just going to call this video to raise awareness about the effects of fast fashion. 
and Shein. I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. I forgot how much I really like this foundation. It's in the shade Y405. I've been watching all the Harry Potter films again and it just makes me so happy. Um, I actually watched Fatal Affair with my mum and my sister the other day and they were like literally screaming because it was like intense like thriller kind of like thriller drama kind of film and it actually wasn't bad I would definitely recommend you guys watching it it's on Netflix the next one I'm gonna probably watch is Cursed when I finish with when I'm finished with the Harry Potter films my most favorite is definitely like the Deathly Hollows part one and two then I'm gonna go back in with the concealer The concealer is definitely more on like the wet side, I would say. It just moves around so much. Like the more I blend it, the more I'm seeing like streaks. I'm gonna just use more tapping motions. There's so many drugstore concealers that won't do this, like that work. There's just so much out there that is available that I just don't see the need to go get this right now. I'm really having to just be careful how I go about this because do you know what it is though? This is the type of concealer like it will look good at first. But by the end of the day, you'll just see like dots and cracking like everywhere. I mean, the packaging is not that bad. I'm definitely seeing copies of different brands, of course. But this is a contour stick I got and it's in the shade Mocha. Okay, that's not that bad. But again, I don't think they have like shades for anything darker than me. I'm just using their really stiff brush on the end. Am I being petty here? Like, am I actually? Okay, they're blending quite easily. I now have this light brown powder in the shade number two. Why call it brown when it's got undertones of pink? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I d it's literally powder everywhere, but okay. I'm just gonna you know, set the under eyes. Okay, it doesn't come up as pink. <sighs> that just went <laughs> to my skin. Like The hydration is gone. Okay, so the next thing we got is this 3D Pro Face Palette. Everything smells so chemical. Oh my God. Anyways, I'm going to use this shade right here. Yeah, there's pigment. But again, I'm quite biased. This is a She Glam, I think this is supposed to be blush. Oh no, this is the blush. I think this is my highlight. So I'll go with the blush first, which is in the shade Coral. Really don't like the way my skin's looking right now. If your base like is not good. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the highlight now, which looks like the Fenty Beauty ones. No ashiness, there's light sheen. I'm just gonna put some more mascara on my under eyes. Oh, I got these too. Kind of like glitter eyeshadows. I don't wanna go with this one. Actually, no, I'm gonna go with the middle one. Ah! I'm gonna go with the middle one, which is rose gold. I mean, that is not too bad. Got a lip liner, I think it's the shade 205. It's like a red. Then I've got this nude lipstick called Deep Under. This smells vanilla -y, doesn't have that chemically smell in it. It's not the best colour combination. It's so weird, like, the look's not that bad, like, if you were gonna go buy some stuff from Shein, I would say the glitter eyeshadow is actually quite nice, the eyeshadow palette's quite nice, I wouldn't really recommend the eyebrow pencil to be honest, um, it was quite reddish, like, I can see, like, where the pencil is and where my eyebrow hairs are, and then the lip products are actually not, they're creamy, they smell vanilla-y, they don't smell like really chemically to be honest. Oh my god, the powder is a no-no. That just made my skin so dry, like, let me do a close-up for you guys. I don't know if you can see, but... The 
powder just it's actually a little bit patchy I'm not gonna lie but the eyes are not the eyes aren't bad to be honest let me know in the comments below what you think I'm really curious to see the comments for this video especially because I just want to know what you guys are thinking like about everything that I've mentioned I really just wanted to use this video as an opportunity to talk about things that have been going through my mind lately and to just to talk about real issues going on today you know hopefully it will get you guys thinking about where you're buying from in the future even if some of the products are good even some if some of the clothing items are good just don't trust the brand at all there's little to no information on their supply chain where they're, pro ma they're making their products and the quality of the clothing all false and it's, it was actually the first time i was trying sheen so and their clothing I've, I've never bought from them before so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it a little bit resourceful if you haven't subscribed make sure to do so so you can join our little family i will see you in my next video bye